Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial video in physical chemistry. My name is Felix Langerscheid and I'm going to solve task number 1349. The density of acetone nitrile is 0 0.786 gram per milliliters and the density of methanol is 0 0.791 gram per milliliters. And now we have a solution which is made by dissolving 25 milliliters of methanol in 100 milliliters of acetone nitrile. And therefore we have three tasks which need to be solved. Number A is what is the mole fraction of methanol in the solution. B is what is the molality of the solution. And C, assuming that the volumes are edited, what is the molarity of methanol in the solution. So this task deals with the mole fraction, the molality and the molarity. And I'm going to show you how you can calculate these things. So let's start with number one. What is the mole fraction of methanol in the solution? To do this we can use this formula which says that the mole fraction is the moles of the component divided by the total moles of all components. So to calculate the mole fraction of methanol we must determine the number of moles of methanol and acetone nitrile first. To calculate the number of moles we can use the formula mass divided through molar mass but in fact that we don't have the mass given, we can use the formula that the volume multiplied by the density is the mass. So if we replace this, we have this formula, volume multiplied by density and the result divided through molar mass. Um, the molar masses can be uh, seen in the periodic table. For acetone nitrile it's 41.05 gram per mole and for methanol it's 32 gram per moles. So now we have everything we need to uh, calculate the number of moles and if we do this we get this result for acetone nitrile. You see I multiplied 100 milliliters by 1.786 gram per milliliter so the volume with the density and divided by 41.05 the molar mass and the result for acetone nitrile is 1.915 mole. So it's the same way of calculation for methanol but of course the result is different. Now we have 0 0.618 moles for methanol. So now we have everything we need to solve this task and to calculate the mole fraction of methanol. So we can use the formula I explained at the beginning of the video which is marked in red right now. So this is our final calculation for this part of the task. We have 0 0.618 moles, so the moles of methanol, divided by the total moles of all components, so acetone nitrile and methanol, and the result is 0 0.24, which is 24%. So the mole fraction of methanol in the solution is 24%. So the next part of the task is what is the molality of the solution? The molality is an indicator for how many moles of the solute are in one kilogram of the solvent. So in this case, how many moles of methanol are in one kilogram of acetone nitrile. In task number A, we already calculated the number of moles of methanol. It was 0 0.618 moles. So the only thing we have to do is to calculate the mass of acetone nitrile. We already used the formula to calculate the mass. It's again the volume multiplied by the density. And uh, for acetone nitrile, it's 100 milliliters, so the volume, multiplied by the density, which is 0 0.786 gram per milliliter. The result is 78.6 gram, but we have to be careful with the units because the mass of the solvent must be given in kilogram. So we don't have 78.6 gram, which we can use in the formula. We have 0 0.0786 kilograms. And now we can use our formula from the top. The number of moles of methanol is 0 0.618 and the mass of acetone nitrile is 0 0.0786 kilograms. So we have our result. So we have 7.86 moles of methanol in one kilogram of acetone nitrile. So the last part of task number 1349 is we should calculate the molarity of methanol in the solution uh, while assuming that the volumes are additive. 
This is important because the molarity is an indicator of how many moles of solute are in one liter of the solution. So it shows the moles of the solute in relation to the volume and not in relation to the mass, like in a molality. If we write this formula down and project it to the task, it looks like this. So the number of moles of methanol divided through the total volume of the solution. If we take a closer look, we don't have to use any other formula except for this one because we have given all the components. The number of moles of methanol is again 0.618 moles and the volumes are in the task. So we have 25 milliliters of methanol and 100 milliliters of acetonitrile. Again, we have to be careful with the units because the volume needs to be given in liters so we have 0.025 liters of methanol and 0.1 liter of acetonitrile. And now we can use them to insert into our formula. And if we do this, we get our final result. We have 4.9 moles in one liter. So here are all results we calculated. We have a mole fraction of 24%, a molality of 7.86 moles per kilogram, and a molarity of 4.9 moles per liter. Thanks for watching, I hope you've learned something about physical chemistry and you enjoyed the video.